Hey there everybody, hope everything is going well for you today. Um, right now we got a different video than our usual DVD Studio Pro series, but instead I'm going to show you guys how to create sort of end title sequence to your videos um, using some different annotations and linking to different videos. Um, to show you guys what I'm talking about, here's an example. So anyways, that's what we're going to be making today. Um, so um, before we start, we need two things. We need some background music and also um, a little bit of motion background. Um, luckily for you, I actually made um, two videos on this um, same two subjects in the past. Um, to, click, um, to check out the one about the audio, click this little annotation right over here. It's going to take you to a video about um, royalty free music, what's that all about, and um, some different websites to get it. Also, um, to check out some motion backgrounds. Um, and some different websites to find out more about that and learn more about you know how to make them and everything. Um, check out this little video over here. Um, they're both pretty sick. They're also going to be linked um, at the very end of the video. So if you don't want to you know watch them right now, you know I'll, I'll watch them later. Um, so anyways, um, I actually already have all of my stuff um, figured out here, all in the browser. Um, here I got my music. It's called Funky for um, Funky Folk Short. Um, it comes as part of the Final Cut Studio Suite. And I'm going to render this quickly and play a little bit for you guys so you guys can hear it. Um, this track is a pretty popular one on the web. I know a lot of people on um, YouTube use this fairly often. Um, so um, generally speaking, also you want your video, um, your audio for the background track to be no more than about 15 or 10 seconds, um, somewhere in between that range. Um, mostly just because then you know the um, then the audience will have enough time to select the video that they want to see, um, and if they don't want to select one, they can go um, elsewhere and watch more videos. So about that range is what I'd recommend. But you know, if you want to do more, if you want to do less, it's up to you. Um, now what we're going to use our background. Um, I really like this one. That's part of Final Cut Express, and it also is part of Final Cut Pro. So if you have either one, it's going to work. Come down to Video Generators in the Effects window. Then where it says Render. And then at the very far bottom, there's gonna be one called Two Color Ray. Um, this is probably my favorite background, or um, I suppose I don't know whatever it's called. <laughs> I think it's um, pretty cool because we can change the colors in here. We can actually turn this wheel, which I think adds a really nice effect. So I'm gonna double click this, come up into the Controls tab, um, and I'm gonna offset this just a little bit by bringing it down. I think that adds a little bit of a third dimension, makes it a little bit cooler. Um, color one, let's maybe change this to like a bluish, something like that. Then let's change this one to sort of like a little bit of an off-white. Kind of like that. I like that. Um, so now what we're going to do is um, we want to keyframe this to actually make the you know the wheel itself turn. Um, and if you guys are familiar with keyframes, it works the same way in, um, in this one. Just bring your playhead to the very beginning of the clip. Hit the keyframe button on the rotation. Then come to the very last frame of this clip. And again, hit the keyframe button. And I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Um, just a tad. Not that much. That like right there. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna then render this and um, play it so we can see how it looks. You don't really need a whole lot. This is just for reference. All right, I like that. It's not too quick. It's not too slow. Just kind of, you know, a good steady pace. Um, so now we're, we are gonna be ready to um, start actually building um, all the different, um, I don't know, pictures and videos, whatever you wanna call them on top of um, our background. So here I got the Keiko Shorts logo. Um, maybe we you know, want a picture or something like that. Let's just drag this on down here. Zoom, zoom it out a little bit and also place it where you want to. So maybe it's about like right there. Maybe size this up a little more. About right there, looks good. Now um, I'm gonna bring this um, video clip in. You know, I did a little vlog a while back, so put that right on in there. And also I'm gonna click out or um, cut it to the very proper length of how long the actual audio is so everything lines up nicely and as you can see here we also got our audio from this clip we don't need any of the audio we just want the music so I'm gonna delete the audio and here I've got some footage of New York City in Times Square so I'm gonna bring this and put it on the very top of all of that stuff and now also um, you know cut it to the proper length and also delete the audio and for some reason this is on like video layer 4 <laughs> So I'm going to just select these and bring it down a couple layers. 
so it lines up nicely and you know everything's kind of a little more even there we go that's better um so yeah now we're gonna need to bring this size or um this video down quite a bit in size dun dun dun, dun. and also gonna bring this video down a bit in size too so that everything is nice and even all right so i'm gonna take this one maybe a little more and then now i'm gonna place it over here to the left and then this one, I'm going to use it as a reference guide for the sizes. So this is a little bit too big. I'm going to bring this down a little bit more in size. Compare it again. See if it looks decent. I like that. It's just about the same size. So I'm going to bring it right over next to it. Place it on in there. And let's see how the edges are looking. Wow. Those borders look pretty good. So I like those. Um, now we get a little bit of empty room right here, so maybe we can add some more, you know, pictures and more photos, more or less whatever you want to do. Um, I'm actually going to add some text in here, so I'm going to hit the text um, option, controls, maybe say like, thanks for watching, exclamation mark, and then I'm just bring this down into the timeline on top of all the other video layers. And again, extend this um, to the full length of the um, original clip. Bring it in there. Maybe let's change the color to something a little more black so it comes out and it stands out from the background a little better. Uno momento. There we go. Alright, um so yeah, you know for tutor uh for tutorial purposes, I think it's fairly decent for right now. Um so once you get that all finished, you know, at the end of your project or just by itself, just take it, export it, and get it all ready to be uploaded to YouTube. Um, now over here, I'm gonna be showing you guys actually how to set the annotation, how to set the annotations themselves. Um, here we have the most epic milk, cha uh, milk challenge ever. Probably remember this video from a while back. Um, hit the annotations button. I'll bring up the annotation editor and let's come over here to the very end. See here we got all the different annotations in here. Got this one. Um, for tutorial purposes, I'm gonna close out of that. Hit add new annotation. Make it a spotlight. And then, um, generally speaking, you want to use spotlight um, annotations for whenever you're working with one of these videos. Let's bring it to about the full size of that video, just about something like that. Here also we have this little text box, um, text box for it, so maybe we're going to say like, man versus wild spoof or something like that. And um, center that a little more like right underneath the video. Um, also we can change you know, the font size now. Or a bunch of different options for um, um, these annotations, which I really like. Um, YouTube didn't, didn't always have these, so that's pretty cool. Um, now we're also going to need um, a link to this video. So I'm going to come over here, open up YouTube again, come over to my channel page, my videos, open this in a new tab, and now um, Man vs. Wild. There it is. I'm going to copy this URL and then paste it over here, um, making sure that one annotation is selected. Hit link, paste it in there, and um, now that's all good to go. Um, but what we are going to need to do is um, adjust the timing for this um, annotation. So it lines up with the rest of them. So about right there. And also take this bit, uh, the beginning of it, line up right there, and then hit save and publish. Now this um, video is going to be published to our page. So you can come over here to the end and watch it. And see here we have all the different options for some um, different videos that we can watch. We got this um, American Isle spoof, Emo Kid Socks Grocery, or also the Man, uh, Man vs. Wild spoof a while back. Um, so let's see if we can click this. The link is working good and everything is working a okay. So that's awesome. Remember, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, um, please subscribe to this um, to this channel, making more of these. You can also check us out on Facebook. The link for that is down below in the description. Um, if you guys have any viewer suge or suggestions for videos like this one, um, you can leave those on my channel page under the YouTube Moderator module. And um, yeah, that's about that. So I'll see you guys next week with another video. And yeah, see you later.